Hello there. Today I am going to show you the electromagnetic levitation. And you can also say it is as equal as gravity power. It is very surprising to see an iron object floating in the empty space. It looks just like a magic, right? Well, to create this you must follow two rules. One is the increase and reduce magnetism and another one is definitely balance. We know that any type of magnet attract any iron object. But is it possible to reduce and increase attractiveness of magnet? Of course, it is possible by an electromagnet. If you give the voltage more and less in the electromagnet, its magnetism will increases and decreases. It is very common subject. Let's find out how it can be possible to make. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. This is the largest manufacturer company in China. They provide very high quality PCB at very low price. Just upload your garbage file to get 10 amazing PCB in $2. Even they also drop their price. You can get up to 30% off PCBs and 20% off stencil. Make sure to visit their website. Let's understand how it works. If I throw something away from the high place, then it will fall down on the ground, the reason for the gravity. That's why I used the electromagnet here. But here's the problem, which is attracting object to the magnet, but do not hang. That's why I used here IR sensor and IR receiver. Let's see how it works. Every electromagnet has range of attraction. Any iron object will come as close to the electromagnet, that time it attracts the object with more power. Other hand, its attraction boundary will have very little attraction. If I accept that the object hang here, then on this straight line we have to connect both of our sensor. I know, you now thinking how this sensor is working and why did I add it here? If there is any voltage push inside the IR sensor, then it will send invisible infrared rays. And this IR receiver has capability to capture this infrared rays. Let's show you how it works as an example. This is an IR infrared obstacle awareness sensor board that you can easily buy online and in which an op-amp IC has been used. If I put 5V in it and if it comes in front of any kind of obstruction, then its voltage is cut off from the output. My case will be exactly the same way. Whenever the object try to fall to the ground, the electromagnet will be activated and it will attack to the object again. Then the electromagnet will stop due to the infrared connection breakdown. Just then the object try to fall again and as a result the electromagnet will be activated again. And this process will continue and the result of the object will remain hanging. I used here an LM338 op-amp IC. This ICR divide into two op-amp. I need a op-amp here, so I will just add the op-amp right here and I will only use this only 4 pins. This is positive pin and this IC can take up to 30 volts and it's a negative pin and the number 3 pin is non-inverting input pin. Other hand number 2 pin is inverting input pin. Last one is output. In a non-inverted pin I did voltage divided through 33k resistor. And I used the 4.7 MHz capacitor to filter this voltage. And I have added IR receiver to non-inverting pin. And I have used 4.7K resistor with positive for active this IR receiver. An electromagnet take a lot of current and which is very hard to carry in this IC. That's why I have used a N-channel MOSFET here. And used an IR transmitter for infrared sense which is used safely with 1K resistor. My circuit is now ready. Let's check how it works. I locked the electromagnet with a helping hand. And I connected the sensor face to face. This whole process is done through 12 volt. Now I bring an iron object in front of this electromagnet. And I saw the object hanging very beautifully. This is a very interesting project. Even if you need to know something special, then enter your important question in the comment. I will definitely answer your question. One thing to remember is this, 
the power of electromagnet and the more voltage will be able to hang more bigger object. I am thinking to give this to a little brother who also love electronics. So I am gonna modify it and give it a nice look. So I made a same circuit on a board and put a on off switch on it and some light and also made a nice frame for this which will look nice and will stay long. And where I fixed sensor permanently and also fixed a coil permanently which take very low current and can run for a long time without heating. And attached this circuit board on this wooden block. After completing all the procedures, it is looking very nice. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And to see more video like this, then subscribe my channel and stay tuned.